Many of us remember those iconic images of man's first steps on the moon, but much of Apollo 11's success came as a result of the men who went to the moon before them. And Local 5's Paul Evenson joins us live from our Fox Cities Bureau with more on the significance of one such earlier mission. Paul. Tom and Aaron, the Apollo 8 crew was originally supposed to simply orbit the Earth, but when their objective became the moon, the mission proved to be a critical one to move the Apollo space program forward. The year was 1968, and the United States was in the grips of the space race with the Soviet Union. When intelligence reports came in stating the Russians were planning on sending a man to the moon sometime in December, Apollo 8's mission changed from Earth orbit to a lunar orbit. For crew members Frank Borman, Bill Anders, and Jim Lovell, that meant fitting a year's worth of lunar training into a mere four months. In less than a year from the restart of the Apollo program with Apollo 7, man was on the moon with Apollo 11. So we were in the middle of a space race with the Soviets. So an amazing piece of choreography that took place in a very short period of time. The mission's change to the moon also put NASA scientists on full alert, making sure the three men had not only the tools necessary, but the right trajectory to make it to the moon and back. Apollo 8 launched from Cape Kennedy, Florida on December 21st, 1968. By the time the crew would splash down six days later in the Pacific, the mission objectives they had accomplished would prove critical to man walking on the moon only seven months later. One of Apollo 8's main objectives was to test how the spacecraft would react to the moon's gravitational pull in orbit. The astronauts would also take photographs of potential lunar landing sites. It was also the first time that man would be propelled to the moon on the back of the massive Saturn V rocket. To have that successful and then have the lunar orbit successful was a major step forward for the Apollo program and eventually seven months later, the Apollo 11 moon landing. You can currently see items from Mission Commander Frank Borman's personal collection on display at the EAA Museum in Oshkosh. AirVenture is planning their own Apollo 11th 50th commemorative celebration event on July 26th as part of this year's convention. Reporting live from the Fox Cities Bureau, Paul Evenson, Local 5 News.